cute little raccoon nail art tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very cute, simple little raccoon nail art design that I've been wearing and I absolutely love. It's all kind of grays and muted tones, which is very perfect for this autumn uh, type of season. Right now, I've got super dreary weather out and it just seems appropriate to have gray and I don't want to call them dreary, but gray nails on as well. So I hope you guys like this cute little raccoon. I will also be showing you a nail art set that's got basically every single thing that you need in it. It's an amazing set. So check that out if you're interested. I'll pull a, put a link to it in the description box below, and I will see you in my next video. So here is that set that I mentioned. It comes into a it comes in a really nice box. I actually saved the box for different Christmas gifts. I have a collection of nice boxes that I save for various things. It's yeah. One of my one of my little things that I do, but it comes so it has a set of gel colors. It comes with a lamp. It comes with instructions if you need them on nail preparation and application and all sorts of stuff. So here's a little light. It's a pretty compact one. It's not huge, which works out well, especially if you're just doing them on yourself. And it has, I mean, it's basically you know the basics. So uh, I came with base coat, uh, top coat, and matte top coat. Came with a cord for your lamp. It's a USB lamp, so either you need to have a converter if you're going to plug it in, into an outlet, or you can plug it right into a laptop or one of those little power banks. So here are the colors that it came with, and these are all kind of in those muted tones. There's three shades of gray, which is what I'm going to be using in today. So there's two of the grays, and then also has two kind of like a warm brown tones, and then a really nice peachy pink. So there's a third gray, and there's the peachy pink. So I used the grays and the peachy pinks, or the peachy pink, those are the ones that I used for this. And then it also has a nice little pouch that has all kinds of different uh, prep items in it. So it has a cuticle nippers, a cuticle pusher, a nice little fluffy brush, some different cuticle oils, uh, isopropyl wipes, product remover wipes, and nail clippers, a file, and a buffer. So like I said, this really has everything you need as far as like just applying a gel manicure goes. It's really quite an extensive kit. So there's one of the cuticle creams. Um, there's also one that's like a brush style, the little clicky brush kind. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. I'll show it to you. There you go. So you'll hopefully understand what I'm saying when I say a clicky brush. So you just turn the end of it and it comes through the bristles on the other side so you don't have to dip or do any of that. Here's the file. And then here's the little buffer. So that's basically a padded file that I actually really like using those. They do a better job on natural nails for filing and without getting any kind of like scratchiness. So now here is the start of the design. I'm going to show you first the ring nails. I'm applying two coats of that peachy pink color. At first, I didn't think this was going to cover very well because the first coat seemed a little bit sheer. But after the second coat, it covered really nice and had kind of a like a jelly sort of a floaty effect to it. So now with the light gray color, I'm going to be painting the start of my raccoon. And the grays, all three of them, are pigmented so, so well. So they cover amazingly. So I started out with just the head shape, then I added the little body and the ears, and then the tail off to the side. After you have that layer done, cure it. And then I'm going to take the medium gray color and I'm going to start adding his legs. So basically just a little line on either side of his body. And then a little bit of a different color on his ears. So I also had a line between his front legs. Just add a little shadow on his ears and then just kind of take that line across to make an L shape and a backwards L shape on his ears. And then with the darkest gray color, I'm going to be adding the little patches around his eyes. And then I also added the stripes on his tail. So there's the little eye patches. Very simple, just kind of take and drag the line going down towards his cheek. And then the stripes on the tail, same thing, just little stripes going all the way up. After all of that has cured, I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to be painting just around those eye patches and down the snout. The one nice thing with this gel polish, and this is something that you just have to test your own gel polish to see how it goes, is some of them dry without a tacky layer or cure rather without a tacky layer and some of them cure with a tacky layer. And um, especially with color, most of them do have that tacky layer and you can't paint with uh, regular acrylic paint directly on top of that. You have to put on top coat and then buff the nails before you continue. This does not have any tacky layer on it at all, so you can go straight to paint. So that saves you a step and also an extra layer of product on your nails. So that's nice. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to do my black outline. So I start by outlining the head and then adding just a little bit more black on the tip of the nose for the little nose. And then I'm going to be adding outlines around the legs. I did not outline the eye patches or like the tuft on the stomach or the chest or the stripes, but the bigger, the bigger shapes I did. Then with black, add little dots for his eyes. I know it's really hard to see him in the video against that dark gray, but you can see them. And then a little white highlight inside that. So now on the rest of the nails, so that would be thumb, index, middle, and pinky, I'm going to be applying two coats of that really light creamy gray color. 
So there's that. And then on my thumb, sorry, I've got a weird sunlight thing happening here. I'm going to be doing just a closer up on the face of the raccoon. So I'm going to start with those two eye patches on the side. So take those and then kind of just drag those down the sides like that. Same basic shape as the face of your other raccoon. I did do one different thing, which I'll show you now. And so instead of filling in the entire tip of the nail with the white paint, like I would have, if it was exactly like the one on the other nail, I just outlined the eye patches and then I left the rest of the snout area, the tip of the nail gray. So it didn't have paint going all the way down. If you were going to do that and you wanted to have the whole rest of the nail be the white color, I would probably recommend doing this with gel polish instead of acrylic paint. It just would sit a little bit better but I liked it the way it was. Then add that little black snout on the end of your nail and two circles for his eyes, right up in the corner of those eye patches, and then a little white dot for a reflection. And so then on my middle and pinky nail, I'm going to take the darkest gray color and I'm going to be adding curved stripes going across my nail, just to kind of go and have it tie in with the ring tail of your of your little raccoon. So just keep adding those stripes with the darker gray color. So one little funny story I want to mention. So my sister and I, we used to work at a pizza restaurant and frankly, that was the worst job I've ever had in my life. But um, one of her tasks was that she was supposed to take the trash at the end of the night out to the dumper, out, out to the dumper, out to the dumpster. And she took the trash out one night and she opened the dumpster lid and three raccoons came flying out at her and she freaked out. It was really funny for everybody watching it, and now she's terrified of raccoons and dumpsters. So that was one of the most enjoyable things I have ever, ever witnessed in my life. So then I'm going to take, and I'm going to be on my index nail, I'm going to create a nice little gradient from the lightest to the darkest shade of gray. So as you can see, there really is a nice variation in those colors. So to begin with, I just painted three sections of those colors. So the lightest color near my cuticle, middle in the middle, and the dark near the tip. And then I'm just going to drag my brush going down back and forth across the nail a bunch of times, cleaning it after each time I do this. This progressively blends it all together. And then after you do that, you can also take and drag it up, continuing to blend it. And then after you have that, I still don't think it blended out as well as I wanted. So then I just took and I ran the brush going down the nail side to side just like that. Once you're happy with your grading, go ahead and cure it. Then I'm going to be applying a layer of matte top coat over my two raccoons. So over the one that's on my ring nail and the thumb and then shiny glossy top coat on the other nails. The one nice thing is that the top coats are no wipe, including the matte top coat and not too many matte top coats are no wipe, at least that I've used. So you don't have to worry about cleansing them or anything. So I'm going to take one of the UV gel removers and I'm going to use that to get rid of any of the gel that's on my skin. That's mostly going to happen for me that happened on the gradient nail, uh, something that I definitely try to avoid doing just because you don't really want to get some, any gel on your skin too much. Uh, but you know, every once in a while that happens. So you can use those just to clean that up really easy. Then on my index nail, I'm going to take and glue a set of rhinestones right along the cuticle. So I start out with three large iridescent black rhinestones and then two smaller ones, just like so. And then I took four caviar beads and I placed a caviar bead that is silver between each of the rhinestones. So you just grabbed them like that. I'm just going to spread them out. I had some gel top coat on my brush, which I used to pick up the caviar beads. And then that also works really well to help attach them and stick them down. So that is that. I, like I said, I love the way these turned out. The little raccoons are so adorable. I personally like raccoons. I think they're cute and cuddly and I've seen, yeah, I think they're adorable, but I think any animal is adorable. So that's not really saying much, but I hope you guys like this design as much as I do. And please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.